Good morning, traders. I'm Dan Pavalonis, senior broker here at RJO Futures. I'm here today to talk about the currencies. Coming into this morning, uh, we saw the dollar tank. Uh, there was a debt deal last night with, uh, with Congress sending a bill to the House. Uh, they raised the debt ceiling, renegotiated some of the continuing resolution, basically kicked the can down the road till uh, February 6th. What this means is with the dollar tanking the way it is, the other currencies that are correlated start to rally. We're seeing the euro rally. Um, I would expect it to rally to the double top of earlier this year, February's high of 137.17. We're getting pretty close now. So I think at that point, we'll probably see a double top, a good sell in my view. Also, with the can being kicked down the road, we have a lot of data coming out. There was a lot of data over the last three weeks that didn't get presented because of the government shutdown, which wasn't totally shut down, but for whatever reason, we didn't produce the data. We didn't bring it out to the market. And this data now is gonna be reproduced uh, after a week of everybody getting back into office, getting the work back done. And uh, I expect a lot of this data to be stale, but then we're gonna see the fresh data coming out uh, for October's numbers in the beginning of uh, November. So with that being said, I also believe that we're gonna see a lot of volatility. And it's going to create some nice market opportunities. And uh, if you want, we could further discuss some of these opportunities. Give me a call, Dan Pavalonis, senior broker here at RJO Futures. And remember, trading futures always has a level of risk and is not suitable for everyone. And follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.